What's up, guys? It's Mando again. Um, here's the. Here, um, uh, sorry I haven't done a review soon. I've just been, uh, just been kind of lazy. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Nerf Max Force Gator. Now, this is a really sick gun. I got it for a dollar. What is written under here? Yeah, um. This is a really ingenious little gun. It looks just like any other, like, plastic toy, but it's actually a Nerf gun. A lot of people might not see this and think it wasn't even a real Nerf gun, but it is. It has this peg in here, and basically when you pull this back, it releases it like a mini crossbow. Uh, this cool thing is it has this grip here, so, like, you hold on to it. Like, this uh, has a little thing right here, and you just flip it up. This is not a dart holder, it's a grip. Because you can see, it's, like, kind of shaped a little for your hand, and then... This thing is a hole right here. This isn't really. So I guess you could use it like this, but uh, you should. It's better to use it like this because you can let go easier. Um, this thing makes a really loud noise when it snaps, and this peg is a lot like that of a um, like the uh, pocket shot series or whatever, like the um, whatever those are called. So this is not too powerful. It's uh, very actually unpowerful. It. Um, ranges are about 10 or 15 feet. This is more of a novelty. This isn't really good for any Nerf War. Um, it's, uh, it's got two dart holders right here. I'll demonstrate. So, you fit the darts into here, like this, and they'll stay in. Um, oh yeah, the best way to hold it would probably be to, like, uh, hold it like this, just like, between the two legs. This makes it a lot easier to hold. It kind of makes the dart holder, darts fall out of the dart holders, but it's the best way to hold it. Anyways, I will do a firing test now. Just a sec. It's pretty powerful. Uh, sometimes it's more powerful than other times, but it's... It's average power. It drops kind of quickly if you don't fire it right, if you let go too soon. Any other reasons? This isn't too flimsy. It's got three different rods here. I don't. This would probably break if you twisted this tail enough. I obviously won't, won't demonstrate that. Oh, this snout right here. I'm sure from the back. It has. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a, that little notch in there. Well, that's basically the ADS on this thing. That's the best way to aim it. So we're looking down the sights. You can't judge. It actually. Um. When you're holding it sideways like this, it won't judge too accurately. But if you're holding it forward and up, it, you'll actually get a pretty good idea of where the dart's going. Yeah, it does like recoil a bit when you let this go, it'll shake the gun, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyways, the Gator, if you see it cheap, definitely pick it up. If you see it for like $5 or like $10, don't buy it. That, that's, that would be too overpriced, but yeah. So Nerf Max Force Gator, hope you enjoyed this review, and bye.